Church History, A.D. 500, Reformation. Publisher, George Morrish. Republished by Irving Risch. Host of Down to Earth but Heavenly Minded Podcast. Darkness of the Dark Ages. Being sketches of church history from A.D. 500 to the time of the Reformation. Introduction. The Dark Ages have been said to extend from about A.D. 500 to the time of the Reformation, a period of well nigh 1,000 years. We would first inquire what is meant by these ages being dark. And then, did the darkness exist during the whole of that long period? Was it all equally dark? And, if not, when and where was it the darkest? It is not easy to answer these questions. One must be accustomed to the light, at least in some measure, to be able to judge of the darkness. A blind man can have no idea of the extent of the darkness around him, and one accustomed to a gloomy dungeon would not consider a place as dark which would distress another who usually lived in a well-lighted room, in the same way that one accustomed to a dirty house does not understand what a cleanly person sees to find fault with. It is the same as to moral and spiritual darkness. A person must have some acquaintance with the light of scripture in order to discern the darkness around him. It is most probable also that the darkness of the Middle Ages, which is another name often given to the same period, was not the same at all places at the same time. The invasion of the barbarians, or of the Saracens may have swept away the light bearers in one district while they remained undisturbed in other places. A wise and godly man in authority was at times the means of diffusing much light around him, but that light, instead of extending elsewhere, only made more manifest the surrounding gloom. One thing is clear, that the darkness was caused solely and entirely by man. God's word, the great source of light to this dark world, was in existence, and would, by the blessing of God, have enlightened mankind, had they been willing to be enlightened. But those in authority in the church made it a crime to read the Bible. Thus, alas, during the ages under consideration, it was indeed dark, as it had been when our Lord was on earth, the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. John chapter 1 verse 5. This is really the secret of the whole matter, and may we not say, that as it was then so it is now to a great extent. In looking at the history of the church during the above period, we shall see in what the darkness consisted, and also that God had, here and there, his light bearers who spread abroad the light of the gospel of God as far as in him lay. We get in scripture itself a graphic description of how persons may be deceived on the subject of their own spirituality. One class is described as saying, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, whereas God's scrutinizing eye saw such to be wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. Revelatoni 3.17. Now we can easily understand that such would wonder what anyone could mean by describing them as being in the dark, they had become so thoroughly insensible as to what God calls the light. That they did not discern the darkness, but declared that they had need of nothing, by the dark ages, then, is meant that the state of the professing church had degenerated instead of progressed. There are two ways in which a thing may recede, one, in numbers, quantity, the other, in condition, quality. It is not meant that the numbers of those professing Christianity had decreased, far from it, in places they had wonderfully increased, though in others they had not only decreased, but had been almost destroyed. It is in the reality of the profession that the declension is to be observed. Not only had profession been adopted where there was merely a name to live, but the most outrageous and immoral behavior, together with the most unscrupulous means of obtaining power and riches, was associated with the name of Christ. Happily there were exceptions. We would fain hope many even of the clergy were such, though unable to stem the torrent of iniquity, and of the people we trust there were thousands who, while mixed up with the professing church, were true to the Lord in private. As we shall see, the Waldenses were for many long years bright lights amid the surrounding darkness, but, alas, only to be extinguished, as far as those in place and power could do it. How plainly then was the fact of evinced that men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Learning also decreased. It seemed as if the mere glimmer of the learned languages and of science was too much for those accustomed to the habit and the love of darkness. Many of the plants then cultivated throve best in the darkest places, the light of God's word killed them outright. Let us proceed to give some sketches of the period under consideration, and in doing so we shall see whether it is right that the Middle Ages should be called the Dark Ages.